Hi, I'm Lee Veras with today's Photoshop rant, bringing you tips and techniques for Photoshop teachers and students. Today's rant will be a little more rant-like, a quickie regarding the latest update to Photoshop CC 2019. So I don't know about you, but I really dislike it when Adobe introduces an update that changes something in Photoshop for no good reason. The latest update reversed the behavior of a fundamental tool with no built-in option to revert that behavior. This is something that Adobe does from time to time and has the unintended effect of handicapping experienced users in favor of making it easier for new users with a disproportional negative effect for the most loyal Photoshop users. If you hate the fact that they switched up the transform tools hold shift to keep proportional as much as I do, then I have a fix for you. I found this fix on Adobe's user forum. You can pause the video here and take a screenshot if you like, because all the instructions are on the screen here. Or you can just download the text file from the link in the description. I'll show you how to install the fix on Mac OS. But first, just, just so you understand what I dislike about this update. Um, here I've, I've got an image. Uh, I actually showed this in a previous rant. but. Um, I've separated out, so I've got the background, this is the way the image looks, and I've separated the body here uh, because what I want to do is transform the body to make it more slender. And so, you know, now that I have the body layer selected here, I just simply go to my free transform, Command or Control T. I get the free transform dialog, and now what I want to do is make it thinner, so I hold down Option so that it it scales around the center here, and then I start to pull in the sides and, no, wait a second. That's not the way it used to work. No, in fact, the way it used to work, uh, that I would be able to squeeze that in. So now I have to hold down, uh, I'll go and enter free transform again. I have to hold down shift and option to now re-transform this to, so I can kind of make the body a little bit smaller. All right, so that just kind of annoying. It's not a, you know, it's not a deal breaker. There are a lot of great things about this update, but I preferred the old method, and this doesn't add anything uh, for me. I'd rather it just kept behaving the way it has for years and years and years. So, so what you what you do is you download this text file. So you can kind of see it here. This you name the, the text file and it's named for you if you download from the link psuserconfig.txt. TXT. And what you're going to do is find your library in your user uh, uh, folder. Here's the library. Now you may have to go to the option, the go uh, menu here, hold down option, and then select. Uh, library and it should show up here when once you hold down option so in my case I've got it already selected here so you go to library um, you're going to go to preferences so we look for preferences preferences okay and then we're going to find the Adobe Photoshop 2019 settings okay so we highlight that folder and now I'm going to just drag this text file in there. It copies it into place. Now I have to go back to Photoshop here and quit and relaunch. Don't save. OK, so now um, I'm going to enter free transform. And uh, let's kind of zoom in a little bit here. Now if I without holding down anything but the option so that it scales around the center, it now behaves exactly the way it did before. I don't have to hold down shift. So um, that is the fix. So we're lucky this time that we can apply a fix to revert back to the old desired behavior. We might not be so lucky with the next update should Adobe decide to change some other familiar behavior in Photoshop. Adobe if you're listening, please, if you change something like this, give us a simple way to revert back to the more familiar way without jumping through hoops. Thank you very much. Okay, well, that's it for today. Remember to subscribe to The Rant and 
ring the bell. Uh, so you'll be informed the next time a rant is posted. Photoshop Rant brings you weekly Photoshop tips and techniques for teachers and students with a focus on old school techniques and step-by-step -step tutorials. If you'd like to see how I might approach an image uh, enhancement with one of your images, put your image into a Dropbox or a Google Drive and send the link to me with an explanation of what you'd like to achieve at veris.com. At All right, I'll see you in the next rant.